What's going on everybody? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today on my personal channel First of all, thank you to so many people that have subscribed. We are over 7,000 subscribers. Thank you um, I will be doing things a little bit differently over here But kind of similar at the same time that that I do over on geeks and gamers. So anyway, let's get right into it Captain Marvel Captain Marvel had a successful opening weekend at the box office and I've covered that over on the Geese and Gamers channel uh, On several videos even though even though people said I was hiding Jeremy was hiding from the numbers Jeremy is scared of the numbers um, No, I'm not uh, But everybody knows I was I boycotted Captain Marvel and I made a couple of videos talking about that I'm boycotting Captain Marvel. So did the boycott fail? Did the boycott fail because all the Marvel bots, all the Captain Marvel bots are after me on Twitter and social media. Did the Captain Marvel boycott fail? Well, it depends on how you look at it. But if you want to talk to the source, the person that actually did say he was boycotting, no, the Captain Marvel boycott did not fail. The intent behind the Mar Captain Marvel boycott for me was for me as an individual to speak with my wallet. That's it. I never tried to get anyone else to do what I did. I never called for anyone else to do what I did. I did say, if you agree with me, then maybe this is a route you should go. But if you want to go see this movie, I support you 100%. It has nothing to do with me controlling thoughts and me controlling results and all of that. I stand by the Captain Marvel boycott that I said I was going to be taking place uh, with. Now... Um, SJWs, they don't understand layered thinking. They don't understand multi-step thinking and a multi-step process. They are all about the results. And if the, you don't get the result that you need immediately, then you have to move on to something else because they don't have any kind of foundation. They don't have any kind of values whatsoever. They don't understand anything in depth. It's all about the moment with them. So I am very, very happy that I boycotted Captain Marvel. I am very happy that I did not go to a movie theater and pay my money to watch this movie. Now, I've heard from people say that it wasn't that bad, didn't have a lot of SJW nonsense in it, and maybe that's the case. But the marketing did, and Brie Larson deserved a boycott. So I'm very happy with the results of the boycott because the only result I was worried about was my result. And I am happy that I did not go see this movie based on everything we've seen with Rotten Tomatoes, with the mainstream media, with Brie Larson, and how Marvel has done everything they can do in their power to protect her, I am more than satisfied with my decision to boycott this movie. Now, SJWs, I understand this is really complicated for you. It's really complicated for you because not only, not only am I okay with the movie being successful even though I chose to boycott it, and even though, yes, I would have loved to have seen it fail, I'm okay with what happened. I'm also okay with the fact that my website that I own, geeksandgamers.com, actually did a pretty positive review on Captain Marvel. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's almost like I don't control thoughts. It's almost like I don't need to force other people to think like me and do everything I do to make myself feel better about what I say and what I do. Unlike SJWs, I don't need that. Okay? Jesse Milestone did a review for the YouTube channel. It was an individual boycott. It was not a Geeks and Gamers boycott, and it was not me trying to control other people's actions and other people's thoughts. So for all of you Marvel bots, all of you fake accounts that were created this year to celebrate your love for Carol Danvers and for Brie Larson, because you've been such a strong supporter of this character, just happens that you created your accounts in January, February, and March of this year. So for all of you out there that don't know anything about being proud of something you've done, regardless of of the results, I'm telling you that I'm very happy with my decision to boycott Captain Marvel. I don't regret it at all. In fact, I feel better about it now than I did before. If you go back to Solo, when I never used the word boycott, by the way, never used it, just basically said the same thing that I said about Captain Marvel, but I never wanted to attach the word boycott to it. They gave me credit for the Solo boycott, even though I didn't, I didn't call for a boycott. I didn't even call for a boycott for myself. And then these dumbasses gave me credit for the solo boycott. And I'm like, I, 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 I don't deserve credit for this. It has nothing to do with me. Like, if I would have not said I'm not going to see it, solo still would have failed. Like, are you guys under the impression that I'm the most powerful person in the world? At the time, I had less than 50,000 subscribers on the Geeks and Gamers channel. 
And these people were like, he's responsible for the boycott. No, I'm not. <laughs> so going back to Solo, I could if I was all about just the results and making myself feel better, I, I would have just taken credit for the Solo failure like all of you morons were trying to give me credit for. But I didn't because I had no control over what happened with the Captain Marvel bo- uh, box office. I looked at it and I said, man, there's a lot. There's a lot of heat around this movie. There's a lot of negativity. People are pissed at Brie Larson. Man, but I also prefaced everything I said by going, it's a Marvel movie, and the general public is going to go out and see it in droves, and it's coming off of Infinity War. Captain Marvel was mentioned at the end of Infinity War. It did $2 billion, and it's leading us into Endgame, so it's probably going to do $100 million, $120 million at the box office opening weekend domestically. I said all of these things, but these people don't listen to the details. They don't listen to anything you say. I, obviously, I hoped it did less. But I did say the bottom dollar I thought was $85 million. Um, So, yeah, that's my thoughts. I am proud that I boycotted Captain Marvel. I regret nothing. In fact, I feel better about it now than I did prior to it. So, it's not about what happened. I had no control over that. The Marvel bots think I do. They think I have all this power in the world. I'm just some... I'm just an average YouTuber with opinions. And they give me so much power over them. And it's hilarious. And I'm going to continue to use you to my advantage. I'm going to continue to use your stupidity, your ignorance, and your pain to continue to grow my channel and my brand and my website. And we're going to continue to grow Geeks and Gamers to the next level. You idiots don't understand that I'm playing chess. And you're just sitting in the corner eating a tub of glue. All right? So continue to make me look good. Continue to give me material. Continue to make yourself look stupid. Continue to make me look smarter than I really am. It's all good. There's nothing you can do except ignore me. That's the best thing you can do. Because as long as you acknowledge me, as long as you give me material, I'm going to use it against you. That's the truth. So continue to fuck with me, and I'll continue to use it. You guys have a great day. Captain Marvel Boycott was a success in my mind because the only thing I was trying to accomplish was to show that me as an individual... Did not want to give my money to this movie because of the nonsense going on. And I accomplished that. Now, anything else that could have happened or would have happened was out of my control. Now, I know the Marvel bots don't understand that, but that's how it goes. Anyway, thank you guys for subscribing to my personal channel. Um, We got some plans for the Geeks and Gamers channel moving forward, too. It's not going to change that much, but we're definitely going to add more content to it. And we got plans for for, for the website, man. We got a lot of cool things going on. So I just want to say again, thank you so much for everything that you do for me and that you do for my team and my website and for everybody uh, affiliated with the Geeks and Gamers community. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later.